we have another game. We stay in Division 4. Thanks for the follow. Knight 78. Okay, sorry. <laughs> too, too many Z's and Z's for me to pronounce on the first run through. Um, yeah, we, we stay in Division 4. As we, have, we had the first finalists already figured out. We will now go to the lower way here. We will go into a lot versus Vasily Chapayev. And yeah, see who will go through here. Who will win the first one and then who will win between Ludoyat and the winner of the game. We will see now. Uh, yeah, first game is going on. We are on a map that we saw really often already now. And we are here with Vasily as the 9th Cavalry. And a lot as a 70th storm. No, 122nd. I was like, that's that's not the 78th storm, right? That's yeah, that's 122nd. We didn't saw these guys too often just yet. They are one of the new divisions that came with the Finnish DLC. As they fought in Finland, supporting the Finnish troops. And yeah, it will be interesting to see them. Both players playing flatline. So yeah, n no advantage for anyone and also no dip or high in income for any at any point so yeah really straight through income Ooh, no not fastest now let's speed that up a bit i think they're already in for quite a while so we should be able to catch up through deployment at least and yeah who do you think i will win this Vasily or a lot i think both of them got really good lately a lot Sadly, they couldn't play last game, uh, last weekend, because Vasily was called into hospital to work, as he's working in a hospital. And yeah, a lot is our Japanese uh, player in the league, or a Japanese representative. And yeah, let's see if he can hold on against Vasily. That collision is Team Vasily saying that Vasily is a real beast. Like that he say saying that because he lost against Vasily in the in the group phase, or did he? So he doesn't want to look that bad. <laughs> Just joking here. I think Vasily is a good, pretty good player. Um, no, no, you t they tied. Okay, but yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, right, 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 right. They they did the point because yeah. I remember. But yeah. It will be interesting to see how a lot uses the 122nd. A lot uh, pretty basic German infantry division, but with some tweaks. It has a couple of Finnish units in it as well, like the Tucker and Puya, which are the double man snipers. Or the Summit Posit. Don't remember what exactly their loadout is. And then the Pioneer, which are like Pioneers without MG42, but with AT capabilities, I think. Do you remember right? And then, yeah, the German standard stuff with Resatstruppen, and yeah, some Grenadiers and so on. Flammenwerfer is trying to go forward, trying to capture the flag over here. Vasily already losing two flags over here, capturing the hill though. We are not, not bringing anything up to the hill in the center. But a lot also didn't abuse it. Didn't go too far forward either. Wins the fight in the town heavily though. While the slum bear the pioneers so far. Some, some supposed to be, ah, they're the one, yeah, they're this weird unit with three Suomis and Molotovs and so on. Yeah, they're really good units. They have an MG, SVTs, Suomis. Only 9-man unit, but yeah, really, really strong in CQC. With the Molotovs, with the Somis. Everything you need. So yeah, they will be good down here as well. The question is, are they good enough to hold on against that many Kazakhis? As 9th is really all about the Kazakhi spam. Since Kazakhis now are really cheap. Kazakhis as with 15 points. Normal Kazakhis, I think, also only 15 points. Yeah. Giving these guys a real heads up. Uh, 
and it looks like Vasily is able to capture this point. But he lost the flag in the town, so he's down to a 13-11. But I, yeah, I don't think this match will be too heavily decided by taking any by taking of flags, but rather by trading. So it's a question if Vasily can maybe get back what he loses losing in the south by uh, in the north by winning in the south trade wise bringing in a couple of m -chars. that's the other trade of the nine having shermans and shermans are really good tanks but they're really cost uh, especially really cost efficient tanks i think so yeah the mix of cost efficient um, kazakhis and cost efficient um, shermans really helps with that in that regard some posits trying their best here dealing good damage but the rest doesn't really help out and yeah T34 and the T70 should be able to pin down the entry relatively easily. Those one supposedly continuing fighting, because he shouldn't get too close to it because pin down. But yeah, now that some bullets are pinned down and now they should be surrendered. A lot capturing another flag in this uh, in this uh, town though. Has to be careful with the MTAS, but if he Starts to smoke them? Okay, I think that's a mistake. I don't think he wants to smoke them, I think he wanna kill them. Has his pioneers here, which yeah. Heat grenade and the frag grenade. But only normal rifles. It's a really weird combo. But yeah, if Vasily is not too careful, he will lose them his M just to the pioneers. Stuck here also doing a good job. Don't want to push too far forward with Stokes though. They are not your usual frontline tank. They really enjoy mid-range to long-range engagements much more. Pack 40 over here going down to the MGs. So yeah, Vasily really putting some pressure on a lot in the south. But this, a lot is doing the same in the north. Loses his, uh, this, his um, Stuck though, and loses his Pioneeries. So his anti-tank capabilities are rather limited now. Deals relatively well though with the AA piece, so that might allow an aircraft run to get come in and to deal with the. But I think he has some J87 um, cluster bombers, so these could help out with the MCHAS in the north. Question is if he has them in A. He's in a couple of stooks in the south to um, hold the front line against the T34 and the T70. Should be able to do that. A lot of Kazakhis coming in in the north and the south. More smoke rounds for a lot. I would like to just see him normal, using normal mortar fire onto this area. This is his pioneers over here. I think that was a bit of an over ambitious push by him. Vasily on the other side taking his time, taking back the area over here. Moving up with his Kazakhis onto the plum buffer. Yeah, he's nearly capturing this flag, nearly capturing this flag, and with those two captured, he would bring it back to 12 12. Also, this flag here is not safe, it's secured by much from a lot. Only one, some, some a posit. Some a posit, yeah. Brings in some of pioneers, brings in the flag feeling. But flag it a bit further forward, like here. The position he brings it in is a bit too far back, but at least he has it next to his commander. But I also would like to see the commander moving a bit further forward. Move it somewhere in the town, like here. Mm. One stock already going down for a lot. Yeah, this this game is slowly but surely moving into Vasily's favor. I think the start was really good for a lot. But the last couple of minutes were not so good for him. The trade's relatively working relatively well for Vasily. Uh, it's ninth. Vasily is playing ninth. Ninth guards cavalry. J87 bomber coming in. Interesting. That a lot plays them. I think. You can't have, yeah, do you have both ground attackers and cluster bomber J87s? So, I would rather play both of these instead of uh, normal bomber J87. Because, yeah, J87s always have to do this long bombing animations with their normal bombs. 
that takes often too long for them to drop. And at any point while they're doing it, they can still be forced back. Even if they like nearly drop their bombs on the way down, if they get pinned down, they don't drop it. They just move away. Basili now capturing the flag over here. And capturing the flag over here, bringing him up to a 13-11 now. But as I said, this game is not won, I think. I don't think this game will be won by uh, points, but rather by trading and overwhelming the forces of the enemy. So I don't think this is too important. Kills are much more important. And the sniper is getting the kill on the Maxime. A good start there for a lot. <laughs> Has to be careful with the Stokes. I think he's just too aggressive with the Stokes. Not liking that too much. Kills an M42 over here as well, but now his the Kazakhi PPSA just engaged the snipers and killed them off really fast. PPSA just have good damage output in CQC. 81mm mortar helping out, and he somehow killed the Shermans. Not too sure how. Did I miss a cluster bomber in the north? I think I missed a cluster bomber in the north. Sorry guys for that. As I also missed the bomber in the south, possibly. <laughs> or the T-34, something killed the Stug. Some Stug now moving up for a lot, so yeah, it's back to a lot dominating the north. And Azili dominating the south, but Vasili's domination looks better than a lot, I think. With all these Germans here coming up. He might actually be able to threaten these two flags here, and then it would be a 59 for him. So Posit moving their um, malt up a bit too early, otherwise they would have forced the Kazaki out of the building, but they moved it right next to the building. It's both pin the Kazaki somewhat. But the Kazaki is just win the damage out in the damage output fight here. In the They will also win against the Grenadiers. I don't think the Grenadiers will pin them down fast enough. Well we have to see. But for sure a lot of Grenadiers will die before they pin down Kazakis. Two already down. Yeah, Vasily now really trying to put the pressure on. Might have been wrong after all. So he killed the Stoker down the south, engaging the flag peeling. He might actually be able to win it by flags if he captures too much of the south. And a lot is not able to dominate the north hard enough. Yeah, so Panzer Grenadiers win in the end, but they go. Uh, Grenadiers win in the end, but they go down to only two men. But Vasily is losing all the other infantry fights over here. Zahi is going down, Zahi SVT is in the open also, getting engaged heavily. So yeah, he has to deal stuff with his stooge, stuff with his Germans, otherwise he will collapse totally in the north. He's in more Kazakhis, but oh no. Oh no, Wazili. What is this? Sis 42s? You serious? You serious? He has so many MCHOS here. The amount of units he has over here is just really overwhelming. A lot now bringing up the pack 43 group. But we'll lose the, the flag feeling, I think, before that one arrives. J87 doing a good job. But a lack wants to get behind it. AA of Vasily not in position. Flag feeling over here and getting the luck. Might be able to pin it down because it is a two star flag feeling. Wasn't able to do it so uh, yet though. Oh no! Uh, a lot was a bit too over eager here. Losing his Krupp 43, pack 43. I think the J87 survived, but yeah, losing the pack 43 was, was a really bad thing for to happen. Together with the flag feeling. He's really in a world of pain down in the south. Stuck trying to engage the T34 over here. But has to be careful about the M42 as well. Who now will be able to get side shots on it. And if he loses the Stucky as well, he's in such a world of pain. Down to 59 now. Okay, it turns around. But gets killed. Doesn't get the kill on the T34. Yeah, he's in such a trouble. A lot that is. 
Kills the two Shrevens in the north, but he really has to do a lot here in the north now. But it always feels wrong. Why does he have to add to add to show the nickname a lot? <laughs> has have to find a synonym for it. He has to win hard now in the north. He has to do quite a bit to win this game. Pioneers arriving, but yeah, throwing an infantry here doesn't really help. He needs to do cluster bombing and, st and stuff to deal with the Shermans, otherwise only throwing in infantry doesn't work. And throwing in Stooks doesn't work either. Stooks are not a CQC tank. I cannot point that out often enough. Tanker Tayunta will also not do much, as the other tank rifles is not, are not good against Damchas. So it is... This really brings Vilsily far ahead. As yeah, a lot is not being able to do enough up in the north to balance out the losses he takes in the south. Well, guys, yeah, let's let's not talk politics in the chat, <laughs> please. Let's, uh, if you want to talk politics, go to the off-topic channel on SD League. <laughs> um, yeah, pioneers here moving in. Stuck three coming in. Stuck four. This is J87 D5 coming in. 85 millimeters, uh, 81 millimeter mortars. But yeah, now the AA setup of Vesely is there. So J85 might not be able to drop its bombs. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Crit in the last second, like it was down here already. It was already doing the curving to drop the bombs, but Vasily, uh, that pilot got injured in the last second, meaning that the bombs didn't drop off. At least the J87 had the mechanics to fly up back up even if the pilot got um, knocked out so yeah the, the plane gets back up but it didn't drop its bombs at least the other plane did so but yeah this means that's what I'm talking about that's why you don't take the bomber J87 they're fragile planes that take too long to drop their bombs and also have to lower their speed to drop the bombs and stuff so they have to accelerate afterwards go they go to la uh, get closer to the AA as they have to go lower so they get also the, the the AA also gets an accuracy bonus when firing upon them and stuff so yeah that's why you see the J87 going down there without dropping its bombs so I'm not too big of a fan of the bombing version of the J87 the cluster bomber one is fine because that can do level bombing and so is the um, so is the ground attack one as it just flies in fast fires Runs back. Well, yeah, Vasily now, as there's no AA in the center for a lot, really puts the hurt on here with his uh, airplanes. Forcing back the Stug. Yeah, he still has all the M chas here, all the four M chas, so a lot of, doesn't really have way to get back in here. Should put. Yeah, he should have put more pressure into the north, I think. A lot that is. Maybe trying to force Vasily into something silly. But yeah, he invested too much in the south. And too much into planes. Mutual kill here between the Lux and the Wolf, which is a good thing for the Lux, as they're quite a bit cheaper. And yeah, now we have Germans engaging the Stug, which is nearly stressed, fully stressed out. Yeah, that means you shouldn't go away from your PC anymore, fun look. <laughs> but yeah, Vasily really putting the hurt on here. Killing quite a lot of units and the Lord is just not able to break through in the north. He would have needed something like off-map or something for it. I don't know if... One, I don't know this division good enough. I don't know if they have off-map. But if they have, he would have needed it in the north. We're nearly getting to minute 20 here at least, but yeah, it's... it's 
It's a lot of trouble here. For a lot. Oh, damn it, I did it again! <laughs> Brings in some like feelings now, but yeah, you have to be careful with these as well as the M just have just nearly can attack your spawn by now. Gets the kill on the plane on north at least with his two stuff like feeling. But yeah, he just doesn't have enough infantry here anymore to push either. He really would have needed more artillery stuff in the north. But he couldn't afford that due to the situation in the center and by now he's just throwing stuff into the meat grinder. But yeah, as soon as you get one of these hills, it's really hard for the other guy to get back into this game. Those are the make or break points of this map. If someone captures the hill side of the other player and can reinforce into it, it's pretty much game over. That's what we see here. So I guess it will be Vasily taking game number one. Fucker Wolf now coming in over here. With the bombing run. But yeah, might die as well. Yeah, dies. As there's just two stars, 37mm and another 37mm in the back. With a couple of Dushkas and 50 cults also firing. That is usually enough to kill the, the fighter plane when it lights directly over it. Yeah, there's just so little a lot and so much Vasily on the map. A lot now starting to break through in the north a bit. But I lost one stuck doing so. And he just doesn't have any reinforcements to follow it up. But Vasily can reinforce the north. Still having the issue of his 22s. Uh, guys. Really don't do that, guys. Check your decks before. Ah, <laughs> uh, it just hurts so much. Sis 42 is everywhere. Well, I think it was close series. I don't know if Division B was quite stronger. I think it's... I mean, he, Wonder Noob... You, you was, were able to beat Wonder Noob, but it was not like Wonder Noob was a bad player and stuff, so... Don't know, I wouldn't say that Division A here was... Uh, group A was, here, was weaker in Division 4. We also have to consider that Alexandra, who dropped out, who was winning all his games in Group A, would have been a top contender getting further but I guess yep the series here most likely will go to Vasily at the moment I don't think the skill difference between those two players here is too major I think a lot is still trading okay where he can trade but yeah Vasily just was able to get his push through while a lot wasn't not and yeah that's it but I also like Vasily's division more than a lot's division so yeah you know Sis 42s. I also don't know how you get Sis 42s for your infantry. It's not like. Did he, does he have just too many infantry units and that's why he doesn't have enough transport? I think for 9th doesn't have too many transport, but Sis 42s is never the standard transport, right? You have to. Like for artillery guns and anti tank guns, it is sometimes. So you can do that by not ma manually choosing another transport, by Sys42 is never the manual, like, like, is never the automatic transport for infantry, is it? You always have to choose it manually. It's the default setting for some infantry units? Okay. Never seen that, I think. Or, like, like never actively saw, saw that. So, we finally have some Panzer Shrek units arriving, killing one Amtra. Second Amtra died as well. A lot would, what a lot would need right now is a couple of amazing off maps on this territory. Because Vasily is so stacked in here that it actually might work out this way. But yeah, I don't think Warren 22 second has off map. Might be wrong though. But yeah, his push on the north got did fizzle out completely now with the Shermans arriving for Vasily. I mean, yeah, he's so heavily outnumbered over here. If he would have like some 200 millimeter plus off map, he could work. But yeah, he doesn't have off map, and that's really hurtful. 
is arriving and some Amchas in the north and with that he should be able to roll over the Illot's town defenses as well. And when that happens I think a lot will just GG out of it. Luck 3 coming in. I think it's still a fine time so you cannot blame it on a lot being too tired. Well I guess it's pretty not late in the night by now. It's 11 p.m. or something in Japan, or maybe already um, midnight, but still not like it's 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. It's really, yeah, a lot have now having good AA setup, but yeah, his push in the north was not as good as Vasily's push in the south. And this is what this game, how this game got here, and if out of map, I don't think this game is winnable. As everything else just takes too long to take back the uh, uh, and does not cost efficient enough to take back the territory here fast enough. He only has three minutes remaining and he will be under a lot of pressure in the north now as well. So I think this will be the 1 0 lead for Vasily. Sys 42 is the slowest transport in game that you can use for infantry. And you, yeah, you have always have an option to take a fi like even the the old looking tracks are faster than it. Like the the ones the finish have, for example, here has 75, and I think the sys uh, or like the Stuttgart is also 75 kilometers, and the sys 42, so I think 45 kilometers on the road, so it's like much slower. N nearly takes double the time to arrive at the front line. It's a bit. Uh, it's the same speed off the road, I think, as uh, as Stoudebaker and stuff. So, yeah, but you don't drive much off the road. So, yeah, not much point in taking this S42. Yeah, Zaki is over here arriving. I'm just still holding on here. Yeah, a lot just doesn't have the, for, uh, the means to push in here. Infantry alone will not do it. And yeah, basically putting on the pain now in the north. And it's only 1 minute 40. And yeah, really, the losses are down here, the, like the pack 43, the stuck, and the flag feeling were just too much to take for, for a lot. Couldn't afford to replace those. Losing those units pr pretty much for free was too much for him. Like, imagine if he would have invested those points into the north, how much, how heavily he could have pushed in here at the point where Vasily was down to three or four infantry units. But instead, the whole south still collapsed for a lot and the push in the north fizzled. And with that, Vasily will take this game. Pretty much for certain by now. <laughs> like even the most crazy comeback try here for a lot will not save him anymore. Because he's down to 45 seconds. So yeah, kill over here. Luck 3 coming in. Trying to kill the Stug. Yeah, that's all just for the kill death ratio by now. It's not about the victory in this game anymore. That one is Vasily's. This means we will go to series number 2 with Vasily being. Uh, to game number 2 with Vasily being 1 0 oh, ahead. Hopefully, a lot. Keeping. Uh, bringing us a bit of a. a bit closer game in game number 2. I think this game wasn't too far away from being close. But Vasily still w was think, uh, winning relatively big victory in the, in the end. Just due to how effective he was able to trade on the hill. Yeah, one... Uh, uh, three to two kill death ratio here, basically. Yeah, I didn't say it's close. Well, as I was saying, it was not too far away from being a close series. If a lot would have 
like they're skill wise pretty close. I think if a lot would have played it a bit differently, it could have been a close series. That's what I'd said. But yeah. We will see if game number two starts anytime soon. Okay, so yeah, let's see if they will play game number two now. I think they will. Yeah. Oh, will they? Yeah, they they're resetting the map. Yeah, doing everything there. So yeah, we will be back in a second with game number two. So stay tuned, guys. And after this, it's still not over. We still have one more game series to go on, and that will be the biggest of the day. The semi-final between Nula and Sean. Uh, they will play off, uh, in one hour, I think. Or maybe one hour, 30 minutes. Sorry for that, guys.
uh, at uh, time division. Seander is playing today. I think there's, he's might be playing right now. Uh, so yeah, a lot versus Vasily. They are setting up game number two now, and it will be on Slusk East. Uh, so, wow, <laughs> where was that noise coming from? Um, yeah, a lot has to bring it back here. Day in the tournament. Um, yeah, we'll be in here in a second, I think. So yeah, we'll be staying around again. We're all staying with this series, at least until uh, the other two, right? If you want to see some, if you are francophone, want to see um, this game rather in the cast by two French people, Lola, uh, uh, <laughs> what? Lolly and Iadris are casting it on the SD Francophone Twitch channel. Uh, just click down on SD uh, SD two down on the Twitch, so you find and then you will find it there. They are also on the Steel Division two category. Um, yeah, good to have another stream for Francophones. Well, it would be nice to have a, a German stream as well. As I know, a lot of um, Germans are not as good in English and rather favor listening to German casting. Um, but yeah, I'm not able to do both. <laughs> but yeah, if you're interested in casting, get in contact with me. If you're interested in supporting this tournament, just type exclamation mark Macherino in the chat and you will get here to Still Division 2, League Season 2. Machirino page. This is basically the crowdfunding page for the tournament. You can contribute directly here. You can contribute by buying some cool merchandise stuff uh, via other um, retailers, basically. And they will then give the amount put next to here into the price pool. Like if you buy this nice skull uh, shirt for $20. Which is not too much asked, I think, for a nice shirt. I think I like I, pretty, I like this design quite a lot. Actually, thought about maybe getting it myself. All of these twenty dollars, five dollars will go into the prize pool. If you don't just want to put money direct indirectly, or some fighting game shirts down here, guide to Street Fighter, your own logo if you have a t uh, your own uh, team or stuff, you can. Buy a logo for five dollars, and two point five dollars go into the prize pool. If you have an awesome beard, you can do the same with some beard wax stuff here, and so on. Or coffee, if you're a coffee holic like I am. I think it's cheaper if you do you're doing it in, from the U.S. because in the U.S. I think uh, you also have to pay a transport fees on all of this stuff. Sadly, like all the stuff that is not virtual, like maybe does replace for StarCraft. So, yeah, if you're in the US, those are, che are cheaper, but yeah, can do it from somewhere else as well. I, for example, got myself, for the uh, Home Story Cup in, Stil in StarCraft, I got myself a nice mug. Okay, they're still setting up the game. Gives me time to do something. Double check something. Maybe you can also get some price pool and through another way that I have to double check. <laughs> okay, sadly no from the quest is going on. But yeah, also uh, follows here help. Just watching Twitch helps because you watch advertisement if you don't have your ad blocker on. And that also adds to the price pool, which is also nice. And then the other way to add money is just by subscribing to our Twitch, subscribing to our Patreon.
all that helps quite a bit. To add to the press form. Yeah, we were still waiting for the game to start. But yeah, who do you think will win game or two? Do you think, guys, um, a lot has a chance for a comeback? Or do you think Brazil is just too strong for him as an opponent? How did we make any ad revenue yesterday? I didn't stream yesterday. That's interesting. Oh, I guess revenue through uh, EODs, I guess. Yeah. Interesting that, that those, those, this revenue also goes in. Just double check that. Uh, it seems like they take a bit longer to set up. Could have played another round of... If I played a bit of magic in the time. To at least give you something again. Division 4 always seems to take quite a bit to start their games. Always interesting. What they do in these while setting up. I guess both double checking their decks. This is what they are doing. Also, what I want to point out, guys, for everyone who sees Steel Division 2 with uh, uh, dead game memes and so on, March was the second best month in Steel Division 2's history when it comes to players. 500 average. Just, uh, just 80 behind or 90 behind July, and like over 100 ahead of every other month. So yeah, this was really good. The last DLC was really good for the average player base. At the moment, we are also still pretty high. Last 40, 30 days, still pretty better than most other months by quite a bit, like really a lot. And I hope next DLC will push that even further. I hope with the fixes and stuff, and the league and so on, and more competitive play, more coverage by guys like Vulcan, who was sadly sick for a couple of weeks lately, and good video content from Angry Bird and so on, we will be able to push that even further. And we hope we will make Season 3 even better than it, Season 1 is. Okay, so we... <laughs> They're still here, sitting in the room. Okay, here we go, guys. Finally jumping in. No, you cannot... Well, you... You, you mean your income? Or your... Your deck, deck? A lot. Yeah, like, you can... You can for sure... Do some acceleration to your deck. It, it's really dull to change your income. Income changes I don't like too much. I think you should. That's why we will change that so that you, everyone picks their income as well in season two. So that stuff like that doesn't happen. That there is a rule for it and not just a gentleman's agreement. Okay, so what we have here is a lot st sticking with this division, the 122nd. Really interesting that he likes that division so much. Um, he's playing Flatland, and we have a mirror match. We have Trooper Heart Neck this time. We are looking forward to it. This means we have MP44 units against normal German infantry. Let's see how this works out for Mr. Lot. Flatline versus Vanguard is also an interesting setup. Thanks for the follow, Charles G6. 
like a G6, like a G6, na 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 na, like a G6. It was a good party song back in the day. You got, yeah, that was running on a lot of parties uh, when I was early, uh, when I was young, like 14, 15. Had my first experiences uh, with alcohol, with parties, with girls. Good days, really good days. A lot of, lot of, lots of house parties. Lots of puking as well. <laughs> A couple of trash tomes. Luckily not mine. So, yeah, it's a lot in red on the left side. 120 seconds for Freddy's. Let's see if he does, uh, it does go better for him this time. On the side, Vasily with Krupa Hartenek in blue. On Slutsk East. I'm surprised none of those two players picked a tank division for this map. Like, I guess Krupa Hartenek has Tigers, so you can uh, uh, dominate the open with those, but. I would have expected something with more Panthers and stuff to op uh, or Tigers to dominate the area over here. And then also you have quite a long range engagements over here. But I think the divisions they picked are still fine for this map. But IS-2s on this map are amazing, but both are not picked X's, so yeah, there's no IS-2s <laughs> other than the one in Journey of Panther, I guess. I don't know how good this map is for 20th Panther. I think it's fine, but yeah. Um, yeah, Charles G6 at the moment is, is the point that they um, can declare, like there's no real rule for it as of now. It's more of a gentleman's agreement that you pick, in, like you choose your deck with your income and then not change it in the, in the settings, but yeah. Like yeah, but they don't have to declare it because I had a bit of a mistake in my, like I was like, like not figuring out a way how to make it balance this way because if you would declare division and income first both at the same time your opponent would be able to counter pick both division and uh, income and I didn't I didn't figure out the way that I will be doing for season 3 till it was after the start of the season already which is just basically the first player only picking division then the other playing player picking division and uh, um, income and then the other player be picking his income afterwards so this way one player counter picks the division and the other one counter picks the income of the other player. Well, like, and, and this way it would be balanced. But because the other way around it would be even more imbalanced than it is already with counter picking. Which is fine, I think. Counter picking is part of the, the league. But, um, yeah. The way we will do it in Division uh, Season 3 is better than it is now, where it is basically a gentleman's agreement to not change your income based on what your opponent picked as an income in the lobby. Like deciding on your income before you see the income of your opponent. Because counterpicking it is really annoying and then <laughs> if both would just counterpick each other you would sit in the lobby forever because both sides would counterpick each other's income for forever. If you would really put it to the top or basically end up mirroring each other in the income. 
I mean, there's not a super 100% clear cut in counter picking incomes, so. But yeah, some do counter pick others relatively clearly. Like, you usually for sure don't want to play a Juggernaut deck ever against a Vanguard or Maverick deck. But yeah. You might want to play it against a balanced deck. As we saw earlier today, by time to collision, winning with Juggernaut against Balanced, against CG Kringle. Yep, we will see that in Season 3. But I don't want to change the rule set for Season 2 mid-season. Don't think that's a good idea. It's basically a gentleman's agreement. I hope you're, you're all gentlemen enough to not... But yeah, you cannot rely on that 100% better to, to make a rule for it, and I think the rule we have for Season 3 is fine. As to this game, both really focusing around the south, as there's where the most flags are. Well, it was a good pick actually for the map and for what GG Kringle was picking. If GG Kringle would have picked Vanguard, I think he would have been trashed really easily, but it, with him picking Balanced, Juggernaut actually worked out like a charm. Hey yeah, guys, I forgot something. I forgot to pull my PC down again. Otherwise, we will have heavy frame drops in this one. Yeah, this one is not pulling anything anymore. Sorry, my phone will be fixed. My phone is back to fixed status. Sorry, guys, for that second of ear pain. <laughs> uh, yeah, should be fine now. Really can't wait for my cooling paste to arrive so I can fix my CPU. The cooling paste on it. I also have to clean my laptop inside of all the interior. There's okay, here we go. A lot playing relatively defensive. GG um, Vasily, any pushes planned? Not so far. Well, he no, no, he has one push planned. That's in the north. But he will arrive at the same time as a lot there. A lot might have one infantry unit too little here. Yeah, it's actually assets. These are only assets, stupid. So Vasily might be able to push through there. Though he has. Yeah, he has, okay, he has one stole trouble. But no flammable buffers whatsoever there. That's the in the center coming in. But yeah, would have liked the one some post up in the north. Something with Molotovs would have been nice. Ooh, the pack 40 position is also not my m most favorite. Ooh, and loses one flammable buffer in transport. It gets even worse here. Pack 40 now killing one asset super in transport at least, but gets engaged by Yak Panzer 38T. Or G33 arriving. 38T has to be careful. Ah, loses the IG33 in transport as well. This hurts. Let's see how the infantry engagement over here works out. Has to be careful with the snipers. But if they are in the mix behind, they can do, deal a lot of damage. Kills the leader instantaneously, that's good. Giving him guys with veterancy against stone veterancy on the other side for Vasily. 
Azili has to be careful. He doesn't want to run into the tanker here with this. Yeah, kills one VK with the tank or two this. They reload. Might be able to kill the second VK as well. Okay. VK disengages out of range. And Stuck will not arrive in time to stop the VK and the T-34s, I think. One T-34 more going down. But yeah, the infantry engagement goes really well for a lot, but he has to somehow secure his uh, save his infantry units from the tanks after that. And yeah, he loses the north completely. As I said, one in front of you, too little, and then the, losing the IG in transport was pretty much nailed in the coffin. Kills the uh, Jagdpanzer at least. But yeah, has to disengage with his back 40, I think. Don't want to keep it there. So I think even disengaging would be too late by now. Yeah. So yeah, maybe just leave, leave, it, leave it to die and maybe kill a couple more men on the pack. The, the M42 of Vasily. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Now he loses all the infantry over here, and this is not going well for a lot. We'll lose the flag over here. So be careful with the uh, stoke, and Vasily is really chipping it in here now, bringing so many units in here. A lot losing another unit to the M42 over here. This is really something you cannot afford to lo lose. Stuck now arriving. Stuck should be able to deal with it. Pioneer leader should be able to deal with Panzer Grenadiers. But you don't want to move up there. A lot, be careful. Please unload early enough. Well, I guess they get forced unloaded. Yeah. A lot needs to capture a point somewhere. I think this flag over here is possible. Another IG-33. In a mold here. Another Stug. Arriving as well. The other one deals with a T-34. He holds on for now. Pack 40 sadly doesn't get the shot up. There's just so much infantry on this hill now. But yeah, a lot... Like, 122nd not having off-map really holds them back, I think. This division would have off-map, I think it would be a much better division, but without off-map you cannot deal effectively with stuff like this. Off-map really an important thing in div divisions, especially if you want to play them more aggressively. But even as a defensive tool, off-map is great. Some Pioneer is arriving. And Stooks and Pack 40s are helping out as well with the engagement. But they're not even able to throw off the TNT before they die due to the still stroopman and the right Jaegers. Oh my goodness. This is going horrible for a lot here. This territory is just such a pain for him. He brings in another mortar. Should be able to win in the north now. If there's some supposed to yeah, and the Panzer Grenadiers and so on arriving. Killed the Stolstruppen already. Total Molotov on the two years at Struppen. Very forced to surrender. Yeah, not only one is at Struppen left. All the Panzer arriving. And yeah, a lot needs to win the north now. And he should be able to do that. But yeah, he, because he will lose the south. Pretty much for certain now. A lot bringing in the energy is too far forward. And yeah, this position is really nasty. You let your opponent getting into this position, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Damn, I said it again. Uh, and I don't know why he always favors smoke. Why smoke if you just could... <laughs> like, you don't have CQC infantry here. Why not just using normal 
bombers. Yeah, the J87 bombing plane might be okay this time. I'm not the biggest fan of it, still. And that stupid here should be dealt with, allowing him to get this flag back. I think it's going better for him this time. Kills two plane, uh, units with the bombing run, but there's two ME109s now on his tail. Try to get the kill, so let's see if he can get out of here. Like feeling coming in for him. Pack 40 has to be careful. Okay, once the okay, should be able to get there. J87 might get able to get out alive. Like feeling unloading now would be helpful in that task, but yeah, okay, J87 gets out. First stuck though going down. I don't like this push forward with the stooks. He's losing them too aggressively. Just like in game number one. Yeah, moving in here now with Gradius was also too early. Well, that's work out so far. Kills the T34 but dies against the Tiger. And yeah, the right there you get MP44 with three stars are just such monsters. As is the VK. So yeah, the push out of a lot fizzled. Yeah, that, that was a... don't know why he tried to do that. Like, rather reinforce into here, try to bring in some anti-tank guns in here. Then, yeah, like, I guess he expected his bomber to spin more, but it's only 250 and one 250 kilogram bomb. It does, it's not a 1000 kilogram bomb that pins down everything. Brings in another stuck, and he, yeah, he really uses his stucks too aggressively. Stucks are rather defensive tanks. But at least it's back to a 1311, so he's not too far behind. He has time this time. And he's the one with the more late come income. Uh, late game income. Not by much, but. By quite a bit, still. His IG is not engaging. How's the IG not able to see? Wait. No, he's able to see the tiger. Why is his IG not engaging? It says he drowns. What the hell? Okay, this is weird. Couple more Stokes pioneers. Sun coming in, but he should be focusing on, on the north now. And just putting up defensive setup in the south. Loader wounded on the tiger. Good engagement there with the pack 40. And gets the bailout. Important shots there. Now uses his mortar hopefully for some HE shells. Should be able to finish off the tiger in a second. Which is important because I don't think Vasily will have too many tigers in his deck. So he has an A face card at least, maybe two A face cards and then a B face card of tigers, and that's it. Another pack 43 coming in for a lot. Where does he want to bring that? Okay, Let's see if he can get there. Might be able to. Then I would really like to see another mortar or something, or well, like mortar guns to. Rush this and then really try to push on, or try to push in the north. Actually, trying to get into this hole will be really tough. As I said, off map would be really helpful, but he sadly doesn't have any. We we'll also like to see a um, troop pack 43 in the north, uh, put in, in here and then put for, pushed forward. I think a lot is also unloading his units, always a tick too or, or not always, but often a tick too late. We'll get his pack 43 here, uh, pack 40 here engaged. And that will lose against an MG42 in, in uh, cover. This pack 43 is in the open. Hit pack 40, I meant. Pack 43 over here should also unload. J87 coming in again. Basically now trying to push in the south. Might be able to do that. Uh, yeah, they have uh, J87 cluster bombers. But we didn't saw them from a from him in A phase last game, so I don't think we will see them this game in A phase. I don't think he has them in A phase. Because he has them in C as a C phase card. This is his JD87 this time. 
Might be able to get the ME109 as a kill. So, yeah, gets the kill with the two stuff like feeling. Both sides having their commanders on the front line now. Brings an artillery now. I like that idea. This is two things a lot ha now has to do, I think, is going for late game and trying to hold on to an 11 13 or 10 14 in some way. That's why I would like, yeah, okay. I would have liked more in the north, I think, as you don't have any natural cover for the pack 43 over here. Here, you would have at least the yellow cover. I don't know if you can put it in green cover. And this um, pack 43 over here should be unloaded as well. Yeah, I like the 150mm artillery piece. Constant barrage onto this. You might be able to get in, back in there at some point. Would like some normal AG shells from over here as well. And the anti tank gun. Or something moved in over here as well. Lost another stock over here. The stock coming down in the south. Don't doesn't have these guys on return fire, so they will be spotted now. Which is a bit of a mistake. Tiger E coming in in the south. Another uh, pack forty three group coming in. Well, I think a lot might maybe expect a bit too much out of those. They're not really Wunderwaffen. They're good, but yeah. They're not an offensive tool, so you cannot easily push into a tiger or something with them. Stuck moving backwards in the south. Maybe some 150mm fire into it in the south would be nice now. It just keeps firing onto the hill up here. This is a bit of infantry there again. Some mortar opening fire again as well. Forgets to unload! And this is really painful, I think. This is up with the stuck against the Jagdpanzer in the north. Jagdpanzer is out of APCR shells, so he's up down to his 145mm penetration, but he's still, yeah, better penetration, better armor than the Stuck, and yeah, he wins that engagement. Pack 40 coming in, into the position I asked for the Pack 43 to come into. Pack 43 over here, still not unloaded. Second one coming in, but yeah. Don't like that too much. Rosili now up to a 59. Well, but you cannot put a Panzer Grenadier to the, in, the, in the normal infantry division. But yeah, you could put an off map in there, I think. Like, that wouldn't be too far fetched to say they had, <laughs> they had some artillery behind that gave them rush. Also, we already have a Panzer Grenadier division that is. Like, if they would have Panzer Grenadiers, they would basically be nearly a copycat of 100. Uh, of 25th Panzer Grenadier, I know. With the only change being 25th having armored cars and they having the crop for pack 43. Pioneers arriving. Look to be arriving. But they also might arrive too late. Well, he should be able to save this point, but yeah. 150mm at least now arriving, uh, uh, engaging in the south. Pack 43 also unloaded, which is a good thing. Pack 40 over here should move forward as well. Yeah, Pack 43 going into the right spot over here. Heinkel 111 coming in. And those have 8 250 kilogram bombs. Might be able to kill the Pack 43 in one run here. Fucker Wolf trying to stop it, but will not be able to. It comes in too late. Uh, let's see if it will be able to get the kill. Gets a couple of rounds off. Doesn't get the real kill so far though. And now. Oh, gets the kill! Okay, gets the kill, only one kill on 11. But yeah, Heinkel 111 gets a yellow kill as well. And Pokewolf goes down to the ME 109s. 
It's uh, overall really good trade for Vasily here. It goes up to 16-8 now. The snipers don't hold the front line. This makes life for a lot quite a bit heavier, uh, harder. Has to put forward with his pack 40, I think. Yeah, he's doing so now. Down to 17-7 now as he loses the flag in the south or no. He's in a world of pain here. Eighty one millimeter going in. That's the three N and get jinxed the four. I think if he killed the tiger and the act comes then he maybe has a chance for a comeback, but yeah that's a hard order to make. And yeah, he's really too reliant on his pack forty three, so I don't think there's such a strong weapon. That you want to bring them in everywhere, especially if you don't use them like the one over here, as they are pretty expensive. 110 points. I mean, they're in a great weapon in the right position with their fire rate of 10 rounds per minute. Might actually be able to deal with the tiger here, even though they had to kill the tiger for first. Get a hit in. Don't get pinned. They should get another round off. With that they might be able to get the kill. So they have good accuracy, yeah, get the kill on the tiger, so yeah. Stuff like that, are they are capable of. But yeah, here, pack 40 engaging the tiger. Not getting it back up. Will be a tougher task. Sniper over here engaging. Nice shooter knocked out, that's a good thing for the pack 40. Might be able to allow it to get the kill. Pack 43 over here unloading. We'll be opening fire now onto the Azad Stupin. And Tiger survives, so that's that's a bad thing for a lot. Who needs to get to bring it back to a 1410 somehow? J17, you already knew that there's a A there. Don't know why he brings it in over here. Rather would have brought it in onto the Tiger. Like he should have, like yeah, he knew he lost the J87 earlier there, so he should have known that what what's there. And they were losing the plane. This gets worse for him. They already was before. Tiger now firing into the north, I think. Yeah. Make the position there for Vasily also harder. Eh, for a lot. Pack 43 really over here really paid off so far. That one was really well. But you don't, yeah. If this one would have been four infantry squads or an artillery piece, it would have constantly barraged over here, that would have been much more helpful. With Pack 43, with one Pack 43, you're already suited well enough. I think you don't need so that many of those. And you really need a flag. A lot really needs a flag. Another Heinkel 111 coming in. Will make its life. Oh, why? Why, why do you buy 150 millimeter artillery piece in a situation where you're down to a 59 and f only four minutes away from losing? That's not what you do usually. Situations like that. Hank 111 will kill this pack for 43 as well. And with that, the situation for a lot will get quite a bit worse. I nearly killed the Azad Stupin as well. Yeah, Tiger is still alive. Pack 40, second Pack 43 over here dies. Pack 43 over here is still fighting. Gets to kill on the infantry unit over here. Gets engaged for planes now though. Might get down soon. Yeah, gets killed. Pack 43 over here moving. But he's down to a 16-8 now. I don't see him recovering from that in three minutes.
Well, he lost against Ludo yet, so... Grandius over here, engaging. Yeah, who's Arox? One hundred fifty millimeters engaging, but yeah, five forty three usage was just not good enough. It was only up to sixteen eight now, and pushing. Pioneers and pioneers over here, keeping on fighting. Yeah, a lot in a really, really tough position here now. Two minutes away from losing and outnumbered on the map. And his unicorn units in the pack 43. Like his hero units not doing enough here. Not the wonder waffle he needed them to be. I think this game will end in quite a, uh, in, in one minute 48. I don't see him getting. The two flags back he needed to prolong it. And for sure not the four flags he needs to get this becoming a series again. Yeah, I think he gave up as well, as there is no aggressive push from him. He only plays for a bit more kills here. He will get those maybe. Get the KD bit more in his favor. I think the KD this time was also much better than in game number one. Or, well, we will see. Don't have actually much better, but a bit better. But yeah, Vasily played really well. And we'll yeah, we'll advance to the semifinal against Ludo yet. Gets the kill on the Tiger at least here. As yeah, Pack 43 is really showing what they are capable of. But yeah, you, you can't you need other stuff than them to push your opponent. Not having off map is a really big issue. Lot bring a couple more units. But yeah, they will not arrive to in the front line in time to change anything about the outcome as there's only twenty seconds left. Might see a couple of units more die in the last couple of seconds, but yeah. This game is over. And here we go. A lot losing to Vasily. This time it's a 500 points difference, so yeah. Quite a bit closer, but still Vasily as the favorite coming in here into game number two. And yeah, he took it and he took the series 2 to 0 over a lot. Still showed up in a nice game. It's good that we uh, that we were able to see the series, as they weren't able to play it last weekend. But yeah, they now got it going. Luckily, uh, luckily didn't have to go work this weekend. And yeah, this means Vasily will move on to the semifinal, get, keeping his chances alive of advancing into the playoffs, uh, into the finals, and into uh, Division Two. Uh, Division 3. Damn, so many mistakes made in so few sentences. And the second semifinal will be Ludo Yad versus Vasily in Division 4. And the winner of this will fight Time to Collision in the finals. Really looking forward for that. Both of these series will be nice, I think. And let's see how who won between in the, like they are all from Division 2. So let's see who won against whom there. Ludo yet. Won against Time to Collision and was no, lost against Time to Collision, but won against Vasily. So yeah, and Time to Collision 
didn't play against Vasily, but uh, lost against uh, won against Lilyat. So yeah, that's interesting. If as was yeah, we'll see who wins between Lilyat and Vasily. Vasily is the favorite as he won the the game they played previously and also advanced as first place out of the group. So yeah, he's for sure the favorite there. But I still think it's relatively tight series. That we can expect there. The Lily had really improved so much over the last couple of weeks. So we'll see if Azili can keep holding against that. Um, we'll now see if. We'll now double check if. Uh, 